Positive news for the state of Indiana. Overdose deaths are in decreasing, and that comes from the CDC. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson shows us what state leaders say is behind the improvement. As hundreds across Indiana die from overdoses, more than 24,000 units of the overdose reversal drug naloxone is being pumped into communities per month. It's through Overdose Lifeline and grassroots organizations in partnership with Governor Eric Holcomb's office. We could not do that this without them. We distribute 6,000 individual doses of the overdose reversal agent a week. It's tireless but very rewarding work. Nearly 600 free Nalox boxes and 18 vending machines are spread throughout 90 of Indiana's 92 counties. They contain overdose kits and fentanyl test strips. Overdose Lifeline says more than 122,000 kits have been used so far this year. It's those resources state leaders say is saving lives. Naloxone overdose reversal agents are not the solution. Treatment, recovery, all the other pieces of the puzzle are crucial. But no one gets to recovery if they're not alive. We have to save them first. Prevention and awareness is huge because you have to have people come together and just talk about how devastating it is to use drugs right now. The overdose death epidemic spiked in late 2020 and early 2021 following the rise in fentanyl. Data from the Marion County Coroner's Office shows more people died in the county from drug-related deaths than anything else. But last year, the state saw the second highest decrease in drug-related deaths across all 50 states. As far as Marion County goes... When you had 2022, there was 850 52 overdose deaths and with the great work that's been going on with DEA, IMPD, the partnerships with the coroner's office and, and everything like that and the prosecutions coming out of the Marion County Prosecutor's Office, we're able to get that number in 2023 from the uh, 852 down to 701. The state says while deaths are decreasing, overdoses are still happening every day. What's most important is there is no one uh, solution, and this is really a culmination of many efforts. Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. You can find Narcan at most pharmacies and get it without a prescription, or you can find one of Overdose Lifeline's Nalox boxes and get it for free. Go to Overdose Lifeline's website for a map of locations across the state.